What's up yoga nerds? It's Jessica. We're practicing yoga from home tonight. So get into some comfy clothes. Jammies will do the trick. Roll out a mat or just clear a spot on your floor. You don't need anything else except for your body and your mind. Get ready. Let's do some yoga. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So come to a nice comfortable seat. Um, legs can be crossed or out in front of you. Just something that allows you to sit up nice and tall. Shoulders melting away from the ears. For a moment, close your eyes down. Just take a second to kind of come to your mat. Notice how your body's feeling. Notice if it's comfortable, can you wiggle into place and then lift up nice and tall into the spine. Awesome, now bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. And just start to bring your focus to your breath. Inhale a nice, full, deep breath. Nice, slow exhale. Inhale nice and deep. Exhale nice and slow. Inhale nice and deep. Exhale nice and slow. Let your hands rest on your knees. Sit up just a little taller. On an inhale, lift your chin up to the sky. Exhale, tuck your chin down to your chest. Keep your shoulders down and back. Inhale, lift the chin up. Exhale, chin down. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift the chin up. Exhale, the chin down. And then bring your head to neutral. Drop your left ear over to your left shoulder. Pause here for just a moment. Allow your shoulder to get nice and heavy. And then invite a little gentle nod into the head, just lifting up and down. And then roll your chin down to your chest. Take your right ear over to your right shoulder. Pause here. Let your shoulder get heavy. And then gently nod the head up and down. Roll your chin down to your chest. Rock your head out just a little bit. And then lift your head back to neutral. Left hand down to the ground, right hand's going to reach up alongside your ear and then take a little side bend. Draw your thumb back, gaze up towards the ceiling, root into your sit bones, lengthen through your fingertips. Notice your breath. And release, take it over to the other side. Root into your sit bones, lengthen through the fingertips, draw the thumb back. Looking up, notice your breath. And then release, come into a seated twist. So your right hand's gonna reach over towards your left knee. Inhale, bring some length into the spine. And then as you exhale, draw just a little deeper into the twist. Stay here for two more cycles of breath. And then gently release and twist over to the other side. Catch your knee. Inhale, bring length into the spine. Exhale, soften deeper into the twist. Take one more breath. And release. Take a second to just work out all those little wiggles. Notice your shoulders, notice your neck, and then when you're ready, <clears throat> come onto all fours or come into tabletop. As you come into tabletop, your knees are going to be underneath your hips 
and then your wrists are going to be underneath your shoulders. And then once you've found that shape, spread your fingers nice and wide, push the floor away from you, lengthen tailbone down towards the end of your mat, crown of your head towards the top of the mat. Take a nice big conscious breath here. And then move into cat cow breath. Inhale as you drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the tailbone, lift your gaze. Exhale, round the spine, push the floor away from you. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the tail. Exhale, round the spine. Do that one more time. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. And now we'll go a little further. As you inhale and drop the belly, tuck the toes under. Keep your toes tucked. Keep the belly down, drop your chin to your chest, lift the chin back up, release your toes, pull your butt back towards your heels. Come forward, tuck the toes, drop the belly, lift the chest, keep the belly down, tuck chin to chest, lift the head back up, release the toes, and pull your butt back to your heels. Come forward, tuck the toes, drop the belly, lift the chest, keep the belly down, tuck chin to chest, lift the head back up, pull the belly up, keep the toes tucked, pull your bum back to your heels. So now we're bringing the stretch into the feet. So you can reach back if it's right and just spread your toes a little bit wider. So you're really bringing that stretch into the toes. Feeling the stretch in the bottom of the feet and then maybe just rocking your hips a little side to side. Awesome. Take one more breath here. And then come up, let the toes go. Come into puppy pose or heart melting pose. So walk your hands towards the top of the mat. Keep your hips in line with the knees, melting the chest and forehead towards your mat. Take three cycles of breath here. Once you've completed those cycles of breath, mindfully step your way back into a tabletop. Tuck both sets of toes under. Exhale to downward facing dog and take a few pedals of the legs here. Bend one knee, press into the opposite heel. Awesome, now we're gonna let that come to stillness. Pick up both heels, bend your knees, bring your belly towards your thighs. And then once you've found that shape, press your heels towards the floor. Doesn't matter if your heels touch the floor, we're just reaching towards the floor. Take one more breath here. Soften your knees, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. We come to a rag doll at the top of the mat. Feet are about hip width distance apart. Knees are generously bent, belly and chest rest on the thighs. Grab opposite wrist to opposite elbow and just let your head be nice and heavy here. Take three cycles of breath. Once you've completed those cycles of breath, let your fingers relax towards the floor. On an inhale, we're gonna glide the hands up to the shins, lengthen the spine like you're making a seven shape with the body, pressing out through the crown of the head, and then on an exhale, bend the knees and soften into a little fold. Then we'll do that again. Inhale, glide the hands up to the shins, lengthen the spine, exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, slide your hands up to your shins, lengthen the spine, and then from here, keep all of that length in the spine, bend your knees, push into your feet, inhale, take your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands at your sides. And then for a moment, as you come up into standing, just take that time to rearrange yourself, fix your clothes, fix your hair, work out all those little wiggles. 
and then come back with a little bit of intention. So root into your feet, lift up through the top of your head, glide the shoulders down, inhale, arms up, look up, exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the waist, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, glide the hands to the shins. Keep all that length, bend your knees, push into your feet, inhale, take your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the waist, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine, keep all that length, bend your knees, push into your feet, inhale, arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the waist, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, keep that length, bend your knees, push into your feet, inhale, arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, this time interlace your fingers here, press the palms forward. Draw the shoulders down, root into your feet, press the palms up and overhead. Taking a little side bend here, lean over to one side, come back center, lean over to the other side. Come back center, unlace those fingers, give your fingers a little wiggle, Give your shoulders a little roll, wiggle out your bum, release all that tension that you're holding on to, <clears throat> and then lift up energetically through the top of your head. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Now you can bend the knees or keep them straight, whichever feels better. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to soften and fold. We're gonna step the right leg back into a lunge. So step that foot to the back of your mat. Check point here, you just wanna make sure that your body feels safe and comfortable. Knees feeling good, hips feeling good. Once you've found a shape that's working right for your body, lift your chest, look forward, take a breath. And then when you're ready, plant the palms, step that front foot back to plank. Awesome, now bring the knees down, let the toes go, hug the elbows in lower, slow and controlled onto them. Take a second to wiggle out your bum, scoop your tailbone towards your heels, Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift and hold. Pull your hands away from the floor. Feel the strength in your back. Notice your breath. Awesome, relax your hands down to the ground. Tuck the toes under, push your weight into downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale to half lift, exhale to fold, press into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale to fold forward, inhale to half lift, Exhale to forward fold, stepping the left leg back into a lunge. Rearrange your shape, make sure it feels safe and comfortable. Heart forward, look forward, take a breath. Plant the palms, step back to plank. Bring the knees down, let the toes go, hug the elbows in, lower onto the belly. Inhale up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift and hold. Lift your hands up. Notice your breath. Release your hands down. Tuck your toes under. Take it to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. Stepping your right leg back, low lunge. Drop the knee, release the toes. Bring your hand to your front knee, lift your chest, pull the hip crease back, squaring up those hips. Once you've found that, reach your arms up. Look towards the ceiling. One big breath. 
and then float the arms down. Coming to half splits, pull the hips back, peel the front toes up, create some space through the front of the body, lift through the chest, exhale, soften your nose towards your knees. Float forward through low lunge, pick the back knee up, plant the palms, step back to plank. Lower the knees, hug the elbows in, lower slow and controlled onto the belly. Scoop your tailbone towards your heels, lengthen through the crown of your head, inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower down. Push your weight into a tabletop, knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders, Take a cat-cow breath here. Inhale, draw up the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale to neutral spine, tuck the toes. Exhale to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Press into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. Hands at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Left leg back, low lunge. Drop the knee, let the toes go. Hand to that front knee, lift your chest. Pull the hip crease back, strong legs. Inhale the arms up, look up. And then float the arms down. Pulling back to half splits, draw the hips back. Peel the front toes up. Create some space through the front of the body. Lengthen the chest, soften your nose towards your knees. Take one more breath. Melt forward into that lunge, picking the back knee up. Plant the palms, step back to plank. Bring the knees down, let the toes go, hug the elbows in, lower slow and controlled onto the belly. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale to lower down. Push your weight into a tabletop. Knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly for cow. Exhale, round the spine for cat. Inhale to neutral spine, tuck the toes under. Exhale to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to fold. Press into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to soften and fold. Step the right leg back. We're gonna come into warrior two here. So you're gonna drop that back heel down. Toes are gonna turn out and you're gonna circle the arms up and around. So once you found your way, up, take a minute just to make sure that your feet feel comfortable, knees feel good, hips feel safe. Ask yourself those questions, can I sustain this shape? Does it feel safe in my body? Do I feel good in my breathing with ease? So now we're gonna find this little bit of lift that happens from the soles of the feet, energetically up the legs, up the side body, and out through the fingertips, right? Now if you're leaning way forward, see if you can draw the torso back, Bring it in line with the hips. Extend energetically out through the fingers. Gaze past your left hand. Take a breath. Beautiful. Now from here, we're gonna come into triangle pose. So we're gonna straighten that front leg. We're gonna pop the back hip out, reach long through the torso. So we're gonna keep reaching, 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 reach. Maybe you land on the thigh, maybe the shin, maybe the floor. You're gonna find that place where you can maintain the rotation of your right shoulder up and back, lengthening your right hand up towards the ceiling, maybe looking up towards the ceiling, maybe looking down towards the floor. So you're leveraging against that leg, drawing the ribs upward, noticing your breath, feeling strong, asking yourself the question, can I sustain this shape? Am I safe? Am I comfortable? Can I breathe with ease? Take one more breath, ground into those feet, nice strong legs, lift and lengthen all the way up, take it into a reverse triangle, drop the back hand, reach the front hand up, 
Beautiful. And then cartwheel all the way down for bounding to a lunge. So we pivot on that back heel. Once you've found your way into that shape, plant the palms, step back to plank. Lower the knees, hug the elbows in, lower slow and controlled onto the belly. Take a second to shake out your bum, wiggle out your shoulders. And now we're gonna take our hands off the edges of our mat, drunken serpent. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, lower it down. Right shoulder up and back. Inhale, lift the shoulder and look over. Exhale, lower it down. Take it to the left. Inhale, lift and look over. Exhale, lower it down. Beautiful, take it to center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Slide your hands in, tuck the toes under. Power up to a plank. Take it to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk, step, or hop your feet up to the top of your mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold, press into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Left leg back, we come to warrior two on the other side. The heel drops down, the toes turn out, left hand circles up and around. Now we make all those little wiggles, those little adjustments, arranging your body so that it feels safe, it feels comfortable, it's engaged, you're working, but without that much effort. So we lift energetically from the soles of the feet, up the legs, up the side body, out through the fingertips. Take the time here to notice your breath. And now we come into triangle pose. We're going to straighten that front leg. Pop the back hip out. Reach long through the torso. So maybe you find the thigh. Maybe the shin. Maybe the big toe. Maybe the floor. Maybe you have a block you like to use. Leverage against that leg. Draw the left shoulder back. Look up towards the ceiling, forward, or down at the floor. Whichever is more comfortable to your neck. Notice your breath. Anchor into your legs, nice and strong, lengthen through the side body, come up, left hand drops to the left thigh, right hand reaches, and then we circle it all the way down to the ground, pivoting on the back heel, floating through a lunge. Plant the palms, step back to plank. Bring the knees down, let the toes go, hug the elbows in, lower onto the belly. Take your hands off the edges of your mat, inhale, lift the chest up, Exhale, lower down. Right side, inhale, lift and look over. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift and look over the left. Exhale, lower down, beautiful. Come back center, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down, slide the hands in, tuck the toes under, power up to a plank. Downward facing dog. Look forward. Walk, step, or hop those feet up to the top of your mat. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to fold. Press into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. Hands at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge at the waist, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Step both feet back to down dog. Pick up the heels. Lower the knees, come into table. We're gonna move into gate pose. Take your left leg, step it out nice and wide. Bring your hands to your hips. Left hand's gonna come under the extended leg. Right arm's gonna reach up alongside your ear. We're gonna slide down that leg. Take a nice side stretch. Draw the thumb back, look up towards the ceiling. Take a breath. And then release that hand all the way down to the ground. We're gonna come into supported half moon. Left leg's gonna lift. Stay engaged and strong in the belly. Left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Look up, take a breath. Beautiful. Swim those hands around and down, come into table. Take a second to just shake your hips out and then we'll do that to the other side. Step your right leg out nice and wide. Bring your hands to your hips, come on up. Right hand over that thigh. Left hand reaches up alongside your ear. Slide down that thigh. 
Pull the thumb back, look up towards the ceiling, take a breath. Awesome, now float that hand all the way down to the ground. Plant that hand, lift the right leg up, extend the right hand up, look up towards the ceiling, take a breath. Beautiful, swim those hands around and down, come back into that table shape, rock your hips a little side to side. From here, we're gonna come into extended child's pose, so bring your big toes together, walk your knees out to the edges of your mat, Send your butt back to your heels, belly, chest, and forehead melt into your mat. Take three cycles of breath. On your next inhale, you'll lift up slightly. From here, we're gonna thread the needle. So you're gonna take your right arm, thread it under the left, right ear, right shoulder to the ground. Let your bum sink back towards your heel. Reaching long or pressing into that left hand, whichever feels better to you, or any other variation with that left arm that feels good. Take three breaths here. Come up nice and slow, unwind that arm. Other side, left hand threads under the right. Left ear, left shoulder to the ground. Bum draws back towards the heels, three cycles of breath. up nice and slow unwind that arm lift your bum up walk your knees in line with the hips pausing in that table take one cat cow breath inhale drop the belly exhale round the spine inhale to a neutral spine crisscross your ankles sit back on your heels and send your legs out in front of you nice and long and then just take a second to bounce out those knees wriggle out the shoulders scoot your bum forward Tuck your tailbone under and roll your way on. And then once you've found your way down, give yourself a moment to just fix yourself up. Rearrange your clothes, your hair, do all your things. And then take your right leg across the left into a figure four. Pause here for a moment. You want to make sure your knees and hips feel good, comfortable and safe. If all feels good and you want to go further, pick the left leg up. If all feels good there, you can reach through grabbing the back of the thigh or the top of the shin and then draw the leg in. Take a moment here to notice. So if as you draw that leg in, your shoulders started to round and your head started to lift, maybe lighten up the squeeze just a little bit. Allow your shoulders to soften. Maintaining that soft and steady breath. One more breath. And then gently release. Step that right foot off. Pause for a moment just to notice how one side feels a little different than the other. And then we'll take it to the other side. So bring that left leg across the right. Pause here and check in. If this feels great and you're happy, stay here. If you want more, pick up the right leg. If that feels safe and comfortable, maybe reaching through, catching the back of the thigh or the top of the shin, and maybe drawing the legs in towards the butt. Shoulders are soft, jaw is soft. Soft and steady breath. One more breath and then gently release. Step both feet nice and wide out to the edges of your mat. Take a couple windshield wipers with the knees gently side to side.
take one more time each side. And then we'll move into happy baby. Draw those knees up towards the shoulder. Lift the heels up towards the ceiling. So maybe you'll just hold on to the backs of the thighs. Maybe you'll hold on to the big toe. Or maybe you'll grab the blade edges of your feet. So you're going to find that grab that feels good in your body. Let your tailbone sink towards the floor. Let your shoulders sink towards the floor. For a moment here, just pause and take a breath. Notice how it feels. And then maybe invite some organic movement into the shape. So maybe you like a little rocking side to side. Maybe big rocking side to side. Maybe you like to stretch the legs out. So you're just going to play around just a little bit, just like babies do. Once they've discovered their feet, the sky's the limit, and they just start to move their body. So think like how babies explore. Play around with that shape. Take one more moment, and then we'll take it into legs up the wall. Bring the feet together, send your heels up towards the ceiling. Heels and knees and hips are in line now. Arms come into anatomical position, so they're about a 45 degree angle away from the body. Palms facing up and shoulder heads are relaxing down. Take a moment to settle into that shape. You can keep your knees as bent as feels good, so you just want to imagine that your heels are resting against the wall. And then invite a little bit of softness into the belly. A little softness into the collarbones. Take three cycles of breath. And then bring a little wiggle into the toes, a little wiggle into the feet, a little point and flex, circle the ankles, a little softness into the knees a little wiggle into the fingers, and then draw the knees into the chest, a little gentle squeeze, a little gentle rock side to side. Now hold on to your knees. We'll take them in circles going one direction. Take in circles in the other way. Moving into supine twist, we're going to hold on to the right knee. Left leg's going to go nice and long to the end of your mat. Pause here for a moment just to take a breath. And then take the right knee over and across the body. Let your right arm open out nice and wide. Taking that spinal twist only as far as feels comfortable and safe in your body. Once you've found the shape, if it feels good, you can turn your head in the opposite direction of your knee. But if that part doesn't feel good, just leave it off. Take one more breath, and then gently release. Bring the right knee back into the chest. We'll bring the left knee in as well. From here, we're going to butterfly the knees away from each other, so we're going to make these nice big circles with the knees, and then circle in the opposite direction. Awesome. Bring it back in for a squeeze. Hold on to the left knee. Send the right leg long. Take a breath. Take that left knee over and across the body. Left arm opens out wide. Finding that twist in the spine that feels safe and comfortable in your body. Noticing your breath. Maybe turning your head in the opposite direction of your knee. And then bring that knee back into the chest. Bring the right knee in as well. 
stand to rock side to side. Slowly, gently, mindfully release your feet down to the ground. Toe heel your feet out to the edges of your mat. Rock them gently side to side. One time and then the other. And then start to walk your feet down to the end of your mat as you start to set up for your Shavasana. Take a moment to work out all your little wiggles, making sure that your body feels safe, good, and comfortable. If you get to the end of your mat and you're like, traditional Shavasana shapes doesn't feel good to me, my low back's not loving it tonight. You can always come back to constructive rest and let the knees collapse in towards each other. If both of those shapes don't feel good, you're gonna find any other variation of a shape that allows you to come into a moment of stillness. Just letting your mind and your body integrate all the work it's just done. If it feels comfortable, close your eyes now. Allow your breath to come back to its natural rhythm. Bring a softness into your hands and your feet. You can stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. But if you're ready to come out of that shape, start to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, bring some gentle movement back into the wrists and into the ankles, into the knees, into the hips. And then maybe take a good morning stretch. Just reach your arms up and overhead Stretch long through the body from fingers to toes. Take a nice big giant breath back into the body. And then slowly, mindfully, in your own way, come back up to a comfortable seated posture. Maybe rolling over onto one side or coming up in any other way that feels good in your body. As you come back up to a comfortable seat, take a moment. Just wiggle yourself into a good seated posture, lifting energetically up through the top of your head, drawing the shoulders down. For a moment here, close your eyes. Notice how your body feels. Notice your breath. On your next in-breath, bring your prayer hands together at heart center in Anjali Mudra, bowing your head to your heart, breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and the time that you have to take care of yourself. Breathe in a little extra love and gratitude that you can share with everyone you meet through the rest of your night. Gently lift up to the top of your head. Gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Namaste. Have a beautiful night. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Have a great rest of your day.